Hey guys, welcome to Pit Master Pastor. I'm Pastor Tim, and today I'm going to attempt my first try at smoking a turkey, and I will be using my Traeger pellet smoker. And I know there's a lot of different um, views and a lot of crazy smack talk about pellet smokers versus stick burners. Look, I really don't care. <laughs> I like the pellet smoker. It's a good smoker. Um, I'm not cooking for competition. I'm cooking for taste for me and my zoo crew. So, with that being said, um, I follow a guy on YouTube. His name is Malcolm Reed, and it's called How to Barbecue Right. He's a great guy. He's got a lot of great recipes, and so I'm going to be trying one of his today with some slight modifications, and we'll see how it goes. So one of the things that I learned about smoking a turkey is how important it is to brine it. There's not a lot of people don't always brine their turkeys, but um, I tried it because of the guy that I follow said to try it. So here, here it is. Here's my brine. It's been brining for mm, almost 40 hours. With uh, So I used apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, coarse salt, uh, kosher salt, I mean coarse black pepper, a whole... A bottle a medium bottle of poultry um, sweet rub so it's been brining on ice so here's what that looks like. it's been here for about 40 hours and it's my little helper so let's see what this looks like oh my goodness yes So there we have it. It's 40 hours of brining and I'm going to put that in the kitchen and get it all dressed up and here we go. So I've had my turkey on a brine for about 40 hours and here's what it looks like. And one of the things that you want to do after you brine it is you don't always have to rinse it off. Some people do, some people don't. I'm not going to, but you do want to pat it dry. So I'm going to move it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it dry. And then I'm going to stuff it with apples, garlic, onion, celery. And then I'm going to put a little bit of canola oil. And I'm going to put some canola oil on it because although it, we don't need a binder, it is going to help the turkey get golden brown. And the reason we're stuffing it with so much stuff is because it fills that cavity and creates a, a even cooking space. So we're going to cook it even, we're going to stuff it, and we're going to cook it even. And throughout the process, about every 40 minutes, I'm going to baste it with some melted butter. So here we go. One of the things that I was talking to my brother Martin Banda Sr. was telling me that he uses this Tony's um, injectable Creo butter style. So I'm going to try to my attempt at injecting this turkey. What, what this does is it just gives it added flavor. And I'm also going to spray some down on the inside the cavity. And I think the main point in all of this is just to keep the turkey juicy on the inside. So we've already got the turkey fully injected. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pat it dry just to soak up some of this moisture that's on it right now and the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add this little bit of I'm going to kind of baste it a little bit with some olive oil and what this is going to do is it's going to help the the turkey really uh, get that golden crisp that brown that we're out everybody looks like 
that everybody wants to have and see on their turkey. And to be honest, this may be a total flop because I've never cooked one. But it's okay because, you know, if you never get started, you won't ever finish. And it's kind of like life. If you never get started in life, you will never get finished. You know, if you're struggling with some things or you're going through some things, if you don't get started, you're just going to keep going through the motions, doing the same thing over and over. Turn this bird around. Get this other side. So all I'm doing is putting a little coat of olive oil. Nice coat. It's going to be golden brown. Now throughout the process, I'm going to base this with some uh, melted butter. And I'm going to put a little pan of the melted butter inside the Traeger while it's smoking. And again, you know, there's a lot of people that um, are against using Traegers because it's, you know, they, my friends call it an easy bake oven. And that's okay. I'm okay with it. Like I said, you know, I'm cooking for taste, not competition. So, here we go. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do now that that's basted is I'm going to put a light coat. Uh, this is just some McCormick's uh, garlic, onion, and black pepper and sea salt. And I'm just going to put a light coat on there just to kind of give it a little, little something, something. A little something extra. Not much. But really, all the flavor is already going to be in the injection. I really don't need much of this. And that's just about all I'm going to put on it. Okay, so it's ready to go. I'm going to get this outside. I'm going to get it on the Traeger, and we'll talk some more outside. Okay, so we got the turkey seasoned, got it injected, ready. It's been brined, so here we are. We're outside now, and I've got... Well, there's the turkey getting ready, but I've got my temperature set at 325 and I'm gonna let this run probably about four hours and about every 40 minutes or so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna baste it with some garlic butter or maybe just even some regular butter um, what I've done is I've already put it on this little curian tray this rack so it's just gonna make it easier for me to handle and I'm gonna throw it on There you have it. And I'll come back out in about 30, 40 minutes and I'll check it and I'll throw some butter on it. Pit master pastor. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and I'm gonna open up this Traeger and see what the turkey looks like and also why it's open, I'm gonna baste it with some butter. So here we go. Oh, that's looking amazing. It's already got nice color. So I'm gonna take this butter right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drizzle it on. What I don't wanna do is drip it, rub the turkey and rub all the seasoning off of it. Hold that, baby. So I'm also going to turn this. There we go. Gonna let it cook and we'll 
come back in 45 minutes and check it again. Okay, welcome back. It's been about three hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna check the turkey. I'm gonna baste it again with some butter and we're gonna check the temperature. I'm gonna come over and get a good look at this thing right here. Oh yeah. Up in here. For those of y'all that are watching, I got my brother Josh McDowell. He's over here helping me hey, making hey. the videos. Get your <laughs> screenshot on there. Say yay yay. <laughs> yep, here we go. All right, turn this thing around. I wish y'all could smell this thing. About 20 more degrees. Another couple hours, hour and a half, two hours. Pitmaster Pastor. <laughs> okay, so here we are. It's been about four, four and a half hours. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the temperature. And then uh, I'm thinking this bird is probably going to be done. So I'm looking for an internal temperature on the, the thick meat of about 168, maybe a little higher, maybe a little less, but close in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so let's see what the temperature probe is reading. So 180, so we're a little high, so okay. There we go, deep part. Okay, so this bird is done. So I'm gonna take this thing off. get it inside I'm gonna let it sit and let it rest for about an hour so all the juices have time to re-permeate and attach to the meat okay I'll let that sit for just a minute we have this Come over here and get up a little close in. So I just got this uh, amazing looking turkey. My first one. Um, I just brought it in the house. I'm going to let it sit for an hour. I'm going to go ahead and put one more coating of... Uh, a little more base of uh, butter and let it rest. I'm going to put some foil over it and let it rest for about an hour before I cut it. So here we go with the final flavor of butter. Oh yeah, this looks so good. Cannot wait to try this. So I'm really excited. So far it looks like all the pictures that I looked at on the internet, which is the way the vegetables are supposed to look on the inside, the way the skin's supposed to look, the temperature was right. And there you can see I got apples, garlic, celery, onion. Got all kinds of good stuff in there. So We'll be back in about an hour to slice this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Pitmaster Pastor. I'm fixing to cut into this turkey. Um, it's set for about an hour and a half. 
it's cooled off, it's still kind of warm to the touch. So if you want to come on a little closer and zoom in on this thing, get a good, good shot of this. So here we go. I'm going to come in here, cut right down this cavity. turkey breast right there. I'm going to come over here and catch this leg here. Well, this is my first time to ever cut a turkey by the way. And I'm not really sure but I think there's bones in here that need to be cut. There we go. So when my the guy I follow, Malcolm Reed, when he did it, it was a lot easier. There we go. Just like that. But he didn't do it that way. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? I wish y'all could smell this thing. It is amazing. Take a taste test of this. Yeah, ready? If it's bad, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, that's really amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around. Cut one more piece of the breast off. Meat is still pretty hot. It's so juicy. Look at all that big old hunk of breast right there. Okay. I think I'm going to have one more piece of this little. I've been wanting to taste the skin because it has all the butter on it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'll definitely make this again. And you know, we got all the veggies and the apples and the celery and the garlic, all that stuff in here. All that's going to be good. You can still eat that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my first ever Pit Master Pastor video. Everything turned out great. Uh, thank you, Malcolm Reed, with How to Barbecue Right for the idea and the tutorial and God bless y'all and see you soon.